Whether you've been playing NBA 2K My Team since the game came out about two months ago, or are new to the mode, there's always a reason to be on the lookout for quality, affordable players at lower levels, whether you're trying to get under the salary cap in Supermax, or just looking for solid players to knock out some of the schedule challenges without burning through your contracts. Plus, experimenting with different players is half the fun of Mighty. We wrote about some of the budget cards to look for earlier in the game cycle, but auction house prices have changed significantly, and now 2K has released tons of new cards, both from new series and from the historic collections. And there are plenty of cards priced below a few thousand MT, sometimes far below, that can help you in your lineup right now. If you're looking at cheaper gold and emerald players, don't look for all around talents that can excel at multiple spots. Your best bet is to look for specialists, players who can do one thing in your system exceptionally well, and whose weaknesses can be schemed around. With that in mind, here are a few cheap cards worth taking a look at, from each collection. Prices are from the Xbox Auction House, so exact pricing may vary depending on platform and time of day. Historic Old Marvin Williams Price 500600 MT You have to face the Hawks a few times early in the historic domination cycle, so lots of folks pack Williams, leading to a large, cheap supply on him on the auction house. He's got outstanding speed ratings for his size 84 speed for a dude that's 69, and boasts an excellent 89 contested 3 rating. He's not a great defender, but he can drive, run the floor, and hit threes very well, making him a great fit for a schedule or 3 ball related challenge lineup. Gold RAEF LaFrance Price 500700 MT Similar situation, where there's a ton of these bad boys on the AC due to him getting packed off in an early historic domination. But LaFrance is a really solid card, with full ratings closer to a sapphire than a gold, thanks to just 25 intangibles. LaFrance has an 82 open 3 rating excellent for a big man, high stamina ratings, and rebounding, shot contest and block ratings all in the mid-80s, plus good size. There are a lot of affordable rim-protecting options out there, but very few that can also space the floor. Gold JaVel McGee Price 500700 MT If you've got extra cash, there is an emerald version of this card that comes with improved inside scoring in the bronze rim protector badge, but it ISNT nearly as common on the auction house and typically goes for over 4000 MT. The gold version does most everything the emerald does though. Unlike most of the cards on this list, McGee can't shoot outside of 3 feet. But he's got great size, excellent rebounding ability, and boasts an 88 block rating, making him a great rim protector. If you're looking for a slightly superior rim protecting option, Emerald Alton Lister has more post scoring ability and similar defensive stats, and typically goes for 2, 5 million, 3,000 MT. Moments Emerald Auto Porter Price 2, 5 million, 4,000 Mount Moments cards are probably the best places to find budget ballers. They're found in regular packs, as opposed to specialty ones, so there's always a healthy supply of them on the auction house, keeping prices lower. There's already plenty of great emerald options from this group, but Otto Porter might be the best for a budget-conscious player. His mid-range ratings are outstanding, his release easy to shoot, and he has solid steel and lateral quickness ratings plus his bronze pickpocket badge, making him a capable defender in the right hands. Emerald Nikola Vucevic approximately 3,500 MT is another solid option as well, if you need a floor-spacing big man. Court Vision Gold Charlie Ward Price 1, 4,000,000 Mount Speciality Collections, especially ones from early in the season, usually are in great places to find cheaper cards, since they'll be in shorter supply in the auction house. There are also lots of good point guard cards available, so the utility of this set ISNT is high. But Charlie Ward is still a nice card. Unlike many other gold caliber guards, Ward is actually a pretty decent defender, with a 95 steal, and 5 other defensive ratings over 80. He's also very athletic and can shoot open threes. He's not as good a playmaker as Bibby or Miller, the other gold cards from this set, but he's a more balanced player. Rim Rockers Emerald Gerald Henderson Price 3, 0004, 500, MT Terrence Ross is the better pure scorer, but he's also more expensive and a worse defender than Henderson. Henderson has hot zones from both corners for three-point opportunities, and he has the ratings to convert. He also has a gold posterizer badge and great athleticism ratings, from speed to vertical. I use this card as my backup wing to beat regular domination. If you play within his strengths, dunking with him is a lot of fun. Opening Night Emerald Thabo Cephalosha Price 2, 8,003,800 Mount There are three-point specialist options at the gold level, but Thabo brings a few new things to the table. 
He has a bronze posterizer badge and a 90 contact dunk rating, so giving him a full head of steam should lead to plenty of buckets. With plenty of on-ball defensive ratings above 80, and good open 3 rating, solid size, and a very good vertical, Thabo is a solid 3-end candidate. League leaders gold Fred Hoiberg price approximately 4,000 mount not too many cheap cards in this collection. Hoiberg is a horrible defender and not good at too many other things but shooting threes, but boy howdy can he shoot threes. His 95 contested 3 rating is one of the very best in the entire game right now. If you need to beat a three-point challenge, just have Hoiberg bomb away. Quality shots be damned. Emerald Joe Johnson is the cheapest card in the collection right now, but he also isnt really good at any specific thing. Matchup Nightmare Emerald Mahmoud Abdul Rauf Price 1, 8 million 3,000 mount There aren't very many useful cards under 4k in this collection right now, but if you're thin at point guard, Abdul Rauf might be a good fit depending on your playstyle. He's plenty fast 88 speed, 88 speed with ball, comes with gold acrobat badging, has hot zones all over the mid-range, and no cold zones. He's not a very good defender and doesn't have great size, which is why his price has dropped pretty low, but if you run plays to get your PG in the mid-range, you can score a lot of points with Abdul Rauf. Hardware Emerald Marco Bellinelli price approximately 2,500 mount the hardware collection just dropped last week, so while there are plenty of excellent cards in the set, most of them are pretty expensive. Only two of the cards are regularly selling for under 4,000 MT right now, and the other, Emerald Corliss Williamson, is a tween era bounding specialist with limited usefulness. Bellinelli has the gold catch and shoot badge and strong ratings and hot zones, and could be a productive shooting specialist. Off the bench. Bench boost Emerald Casey Jones price 6 Mount Jones can't shoot or dunk, but he is a value Emerald ad because of his low price and excellent defending and passing skills. He also comes with defensive anchor, which will improve the defensive ability of anybody else on the court. If you've got other scoring options on your team, but need a primary ball handler and perimeter defender, there are a lot worse places to turn than this new card. Plus, this cost will likely come down over the next few days, as more people open bench boost packs.